Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam Akola outside the Liberty Stadium where Manchester United have won 3 1. The team boss is there. We're about to leave Wales with three points in the bag. And it was a comfortable performance for Manchester United, 3 0 up in the first half. It was a quick show from the Reds, a fantastic goal from Paul Pogba. Now, I've been saying every week to my brother, my friends, anybody that will listen, one day this season, we're going to see an absolute cracker of a goal from Paul Pogba. And that is one of them. It was superb. I was sat right behind it and I watched it rise into the net. An incredible goal from Paul Pogba. What a waste of money, eh? Um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic got two goals as well. The first goal, the goalkeeper probably should have saved. But that's just what Zlatan Ibrahimovic has needed. He has needed something to just go in off his knee, off his arse, off his anything, a goalkeeper mistake. He's just needed something to get him going. And then he's got the second goal and he's made it 3-0. And Manchester United have had the points wrapped up in the first half. Unfortunately for Zlatan Ibrahimovic, though, he picked up a yellow card, which means he'll miss the game against Arsenal at Old Trafford. And I think we'll really miss him because even when he wasn't scoring, he was creating chances, he was providing things for other players. And we're going to miss that in the team. We're going to miss his presence up top. We do have Martial, we do have Rashford to come in. And Wayne Rooney, who scored a fantastic goal against Fenerbahce, start here today he started off he kept giving the ball away but he grew into the game and got a lot better and he played fantastically well for Manchester United today he was occupying roles out wide and then when Zlatan dropped deep he was picking up and and pinning back the centre half so that we still had a striker up top and it was a good game from Wayne Rooney today and that's exactly what we need from him we need to manage him just like we need to manage Michael Carrick play him when it's time's right today we played him again Rojo Jones at the back a lot of Reds were worried about that, but Michael Carrick sitting in front of them made sure we had nothing to worry about and made sure they were kept calm and kept together in defence. Phil Jones done fantastically well with his first 90 minutes back um, from injury, so fair play to him as well. And before the game, a lot of Reds were saying, uh-oh, this team doesn't look good. I am not confident about this game, but United thankfully got the three points and got the job done very, very easily. It's a shame we couldn't get a few more goals in the second half and keep going for it. But you know what? With the way things are, I'm not surprised the boys closed things out and just made sure we got out of here with the three points because there were three points we really needed. And regardless of the performance, we needed a result to get the confidence up. We've got Arsenal next at home and Swansea, they haven't won a game since the opening day of the season. So this isn't the true test for Manchester United. The next game against Arsenal, we need consistency in our performance and consistency in our result. And we need to win that game with Middlesbrough, uh, sorry, with Middlesbrough holding Man City, Arsenal and Tottenham drawing this weekend. Teams around us have dropped points, obviously Chelsea and Liverpool won, but we can close that gap a little bit more next weekend to Arsenal and the others, and that'll be nice as well. Obviously, long way to go with this season. Unfortunately, there's an international break, but go into it with a win and some great goals to look back on as well. Guys, my man of the match today was Paul Pogba. I think for his goal and also his all-round performance, but Zlatan was fantastic today. Mata did well with the dirty stuff. Wayne Rooney was good today as well so hats off to a lot of them but for me Paul Pogba gets the man of the match let me know what you think in the comments below make sure you subscribe check out all the fan cams and I'll see you later